is the need 2016 question basing on vertical circular motion. The problem is like this. What is the minimum velocity with which a body of mass m must enter a vertical loop of radius r so that it can complete the loop, right? So, we shall consider a body moving in a vertical loop or a circle. Its radius is equal to r. Now, say it for example at the top it is moving in a say anti-clockwise direction at the top let it's having a velocity v top you know this is a string which always carry attention towards the point of suspension that is here this body is having some weight so its weight mg also always acts in downward direction and whenever the body is in a circular motion, there must be always a centripetal force. So we can say at the top, we can calculate centripetal force as the resultant force acting towards the center. Be careful in understanding that centripetal force doesn't come from outside. The very existing forces towards the center behaves like centripetal forces itself. So, both tension and weight are acting towards the center. So, centripetal force is tension plus mg. Centripetal force means mv square by r. I call it v top, v t square equal to t plus mg. For just completion of the loop, completion of the loop, even this tension can become zero because even if tension becomes zero, there is a weight who is acting towards the center that provides a necessary centripetal force. So, for a minimum centripetal force, tension could become zero. So, in that case, minimum velocity at the top could be mg itself. So, V top square is Rg. So, velocity at the top of the circle is root rg. So, at the top, it shall have a velocity of root rg. It turns and it comes here to the bottom and it continues moving like this. Let me call this as v bottom. Here also, its weight acts in downward direction. Tension again acts towards the point of suspension. So, what we can say? At bottom, centripetal square, V B square, M V square by R equal to tension is acting towards the center. So I treat that as positive. Weight is acting against the center. So I have to write minus mg. From here at the bottom, even for me, minimum tension cannot become zero because even if tension becomes zero. There is no other force acting towards the center, then the body cannot move circular motion itself. So, there is there shall be some another way to find out the velocity at the bottom. So, what we can say is we can apply conservation of energy at the bottom and top. Total energy at the top equal to total energy at the bottom. What's the total energy at the top here? It has a potential energy. Taking this baseline as a reference line, potential energy plus kinetic energy at the top shall be equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy at the bottom. What is potential energy at the top is mg height from this reference line. This is radius r. There is one more radius. So, mg into 2r, kinetic energy is half m, velocity top square that we have already proved, root rg whole square, that is velocity at the top, equal to velocity at the bottom. At the bottom being a reference line, potential energy is 0, kinetic energy is half m v bottom square. Let us simplify this. All m's are there in common, we can cancel this. So, 2gr plus root rg whole square is rg by 2 equal to velocity bottom square by 2. 
Let's multiply this entire equation with 2. Multiply with 2. 2 into 2 gr becomes 4 gr. Rg by 2 becomes Rg itself. Vb square by 2 into 2 means that 2 will cancel. So velocity at the bottom square is 5rg. Velocity at the bottom is root 5rg. So though on the top the minimum required velocity is root rg, at the bottom the minimum required velocity is root 5rg. So if you give minimum at least root 5rg, it is cross over the bottom, it goes up. As here it is more than root 5rg, root rg is there, it will continue its path and it can continue its slope. So it shall have a velocity of full minimum root 5rg so that it can complete its vertical circle. Be careful in understanding that it has to complete the vertical loop. His question is it can complete the vertical loop. If it has to just cross the top, having root rg is sufficient. But if it has to complete the vertical circle means it has to cross the top as well as the bottom. At the top it needs root rg. At the bottom it needs root 5rg. So the minimum required is root 5rg. Root rg is not the answer at all. That's how it can continue its vertical circular motion. That's it. Thank you for watching.